Hi, I'm Jeff and welcome to my shop. In this video, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. It's not really woodworking. Well, not at all. Um, is it metalworking? I don't know, sort of. Well, in any case, I managed to get myself a 15 inch lodge cast iron skillet. I'm pretty excited about this. It's going to let me hard sear steaks after doing them in a sous vide and blackening and all sorts of other things that the cast iron is really awesome at. Uh, the, the disadvantage, while well, I got a really great price for this, uh, the sand texture from the casting isn't really ideal. Uh, these come pre-seasoned, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to strip this down. I'm going to get it really just nice and smooth and then re-season it. So I'm going to start with a quick strip disc. I want to do this up in my metal shop that my wife thinks is our garage. Uh, but in any case, up in the metal shop, we'll strip it down. I'm going to work through some flap discs, starting with 40 grit, pretty darn coarse. Uh, I'm going to keep going until it gets to the level of smoothness that I'm looking for. I'm then going to have to re-season it. Uh, and so for that, I bought some grapeseed oil. This is a real high smoke point oil. Uh, the idea is that you coat it with a very thin layer of oil heat it up to high temperature and let it cool. I'll uh, probably do several cycles of that to just get a really nice uh, seasoned coating on here. And then we'll go from there. So uh, th I'm not the first person to ever do this. There's plenty of videos online, uh, but this one is mine and this pan is mine. Um, so please enjoy. Uh, and if you do, feel free to subscribe, uh, comment, uh, like, uh, and hit the notification bell if you'd like to see my new videos when they come out every Friday. Thanks for watching. Okay, so here we are outside of my grill. The pan has been preheated. It's about 200 degrees. So this is grapeseed oil. I'm just gonna get this all over everywhere. 
all the raw metal surface. That's it. Okay, so at this point it's a little under 300 degrees. I'm gonna flip it over. And start increasing the temp. So here it's gotten up to about 400 degrees upside down. I'm gonna leave it at 400 for an hour, turn off the heat, and then just let it slowly cool for the first pass of seasoning. Okay, so this just spent an hour at 400 and then slowly cooled down. It's probably around 200 or so now. Really curious to see what it looks like, if I can get a hold of it. Interesting. Not a ton of color change, but uh, let's put on another little bit of oil and go around two. Okay, so here's my pan after I finished the seasoning process. So you saw after the first pass, there was only a tiny bit of color change. Uh, after the second pass, it had turned sort of a greenish um, bronze color, which was interesting. On the third cycle, some stuff in the bottom of my grill, drippings, etc., caught on fire, and the temperature shot way out of control, um, probably 700 degrees or so, which resulted in this actually very, very mature, dark uh, black color. I gave that a plenty of time to cool down, temper, uh, and I did one final pass. And so now it's time for its maiden voyage. And I'm cooking, of course, bacon.